Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here is a video on the Seagate external expansion hard drive, 6 terabytes, and this is compatible with Windows as well as with Mac. Okay, let's go and quickly go through a very speedy unboxing of this because we don't want to spend too much time on the unboxing of a device here. But I did want to point out one thing or two, and that is the connections here is very easy. You get a uh, decent length USB 3.0 cable, and it connects simply into the back of the drive and your USB port. And you also get an 18 watt power adapter. And what's really cool about this is they give you several power adapter connections that will allow you to use this external drive just about anywhere in the world and it's very easy to switch the um, adapter to accommodate where or which country you live in and you simply slip that out and then that was a blank one and you simply go ahead and slip the one that you want to use into the slot and push and snap and you're good to go and you can use this uh, in my case I'm using this in the United States and that would be 110 120 alright and then the other part of the adapter plugs right into the back of the external drive here and we're good to go I can plug this right into any Windows or Mac computer and start using it almost immediately because it's immediately recognized and so you know there's very little to do but plug it in so it is definitely a plug and play and it looks sharp too I like the way the case looks um, it has that uh, Seagate logo there as well as a waffle grain look on the sides of the case and if we take a look on top here we see air vents on the bottom we see air vents and also on the rear we have air vents and this greatly allows plenty of air circulation um, through the case to prevent any overheating and keeps the external drive cool and it's been very quiet and the reason that the drive has been very quiet while I've uh, written probably a couple of terabytes onto it already is because there's no fan inside. Now I'm going to plug the USB cable 3.0 into a USB 3.0 port on my desktop here and I've already plugged it into the AC outlet on my wall and once I do plug in the USB cable you can see that the light on top the white light is blinking that uh, indicates the drive has become active and Windows in my case that's uh, this is a Windows desktop has recognized the external hard drive and if I wanted to I could plug the USB cable on the rear as well if I needed to okay let's go over to my Windows 10 desktop here and I'm going to open up Crystal Disk Mark version 8.04 and run some read and write tests and as you can see it's coming through pretty good I think um, I'm satisfied with the results considering that this is an external hard drive a mechanical hard drive at that it's not an SSD but keep in mind that this is a synthetic test it's not a Windows 10 real-time test for writing um, to this external hard drive so let's go ahead and do that by opening up Windows 10's uh, file manager and I've already copied a little bit over 7 gigabytes of files into my Windows 10 clipboard and I'll paste that onto this external hard drive and as you can see here it's moving along nice and steady and not too slow but not too super fast either I'm getting a top speed of approximately I think it hit about 157 
uh, megabytes uh, per second here and that's acceptable um, no complaints here it works for me you know I figure if I can copy seven gigabytes worth of files over to this external hard drive um, primarily being used for storage and backups um, within you know less than what is about less than minute minute and a half um, that works for me um, I'm in no rush to copy these files over and uh, you know mainly I just want to back my files up so that I have something that uh, I can rely on if Windows 10 decides to you know uh, freeze up or crash or whatever all right we've come to the end of this video I'm very happy with this external hard drive and thanks for watching subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like